Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm cash stuffing $205 into savings challenges today, specifically my debt binder. Let's give it a cash count. 50, 70, 90, 110, 50, 60. Awesome, so we have $205. This is probably going to take longer because I have, this is the most cash that I've done ever in this. And you are getting a sneak peek. I just have been dragging my feet with getting all of my binders situated. So yeah, you will kind of see what I have going on for that. So it's a work in prog progress, but it's mostly together the way that I need it to be. So the binder that I will be using is this one here. I love it so much. I've been waiting for this binder. Lily Budgets always has linked in her description the binders that she uses. And this is like a very flexible, like faux suede, I guess, or faux leather binder. And I didn't want the hardback ones of this. And I don't know, like it wasn't through her link, but I was like scrolling through looking at things and I saw it that it was available like with another brand and I was so excited so this is pretty much how it's going to be for the most part I have my dashboard linked below um, of extra debt I decided to add in here my anniversary challenge because because it is now a debt I'm paying Joe back for that and so I have some savings challenges in here, some ones that I'm carrying over from 2023. Um, and I will make something for this, but this is where I will put the money, the debt snowball money. So let's first start with fulfilling the IOU. So I owed $3 to this challenge. So... We will continue this challenge, but let's start elsewhere. Let's start in the beginning. So I do want to finish this challenge here. And I believe that I owe 60. So the wine glasses represent 15. And so I have one, two, three, four. So that should be 50, 50. Yep, so that should be $60. So this was the only thing I sort of pre-planned for. Everything else is going to just be kind of like off the cusp. <laughs> I'm trying not, if you are left-handed, you know the struggle. And this bothers me that this is never colored in. I have an X on it. It annoys me. But yeah, anyways, if you are left-handed, you know the struggle of getting ink on your hand and with this being wet I don't want to drag it on my hand <laughs> okay so $60 going in so this should complete this we should have 300 in total so 100 150 70 oh we have that 50 mixed in. Let me make sure these bills are correct. Okay. So 100 placeholder. This is money that's represented. Um, I did give this to him in cash already. He was kind of in need of cash a few months ago. So he's been paid back 100 so far. So 100, 50, 200, 220, 40, 60, 80, 90, 300. So this is now complete. I'm going to swap it with this challenge here. So I didn't do like an official video launch of my Valentine's Day savings challenges. Really, I just did a post, but this is in my shop. You can do it for anniversary. You can do it for Valentine's Day. You can do it because you don't ever have a Valentine's Day. You are anti-dating right now. 
whatever the case may be. I just think it's cute. The pun of love stinks and it's a cute little, um, skunk. I actually think skunk are really cute. If I could have one that was, um, de scented or whatever the term is, I would love one. I think they're so freaking cute. So this is a game board style where you roll a die and you keep moving around the board. And then he also does love to be scratched. <laughs> so this one it's hard to say how much you will save just because there's roll the dice in there and that just depends on what you roll so i think let's just start with this um challenge and we will pull out my scratcher for today and my die i was somewhat prepared okay so I'm starting here, so one, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this one here is a perfume plus a roll of the die. So the perfume is e is t equals ten, so it's going to be ten plus two. So 12 Okay, now I will color it in I just wanted to show you guys I'm not gonna do a perfect job. It's like whatever. Let's do one more roll. No, actually. Let's do a scratch Let's scratch his cute little head. That's my favorite part to scratch But it's two dollars I pulled out a coin and everything I think I need one of those scrapers. Maybe that would work better. Because this is a smooth surface. So now I see why people like those. So $2. Oh, we have a visitor. Because the baby is after her. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Sorry about it. <sighs> Remy is going after Kenzie. There's hissing. He just, like, he always wants to play in rough house. And the girls are not all about that life. Okay, so this one is from the Sons and Roses shop. Let's do 20. I just grabbed whatever color that I had. I think what I'll do is reprint this and size it down to an A5 size. I hate having to fold this, but, and then recoloring it because there's uh, two $100 spots on here. And if I shuffle the money around, I can do it in such a way that I color in at least one of them. Let's see what we have. I think I might have 110 now. So, some of this money is in my bank right now. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 110. Yeah, and this is in my shop linked below. If you want placeholders, I have a digital download so you can print as many as you need. So that's nice. This is one of the long going ones because it saves 600 total. Okay, so let's let's use a dice to determine how many we should roll today. So if I roll an odd, I will roll one. If I roll an even number, I will use two die. Okay, so we're using one. One die. Okay, so three. I think I decided like if I'm rolling and I run out of all of my numbers on this board, I'm gonna just put a dollar in for each roll that I can't go. Three, okay. Seeing if I could make change. Actually, let's move this to the side so we know how much we're saving in this game. Let's just do one more. The whole point was to not go more than once. Uh, oh well. 
it is to, ter to determine how many to do at one time, but I don't know. I felt like I should just roll again. So we are saving eight. We are going to move on, but this is from One Frugal Introvert. We may come back, but I just kind of want to see. There's a challenge I want to get to that is going to be a high roller one. And yeah, I just don't know what to expect with it. So I want to be able to have a bunch of money for it. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, $74 for now. Okay, next up, this is Holy Cow. It is a game board style and a scratcher style. So I wrote down where I left off. So I left off here, 1230. So we are moving two spaces and just cross that out. So one, two. So it's four, but I'm going to put a one back and take a five. Okay, so we're moving five spaces. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh boy, okay. So this one is three times whatever you roll the dice. So three times whatever I roll. Four times three is 12. Okay, so I'll stop here for now. So we are saving 10, 15, 16, 17. I condensed off camera because I had tons of ones and whatnot. And so, yeah, I just I condensed it off camera. So let's see where we are. So we have 100, 110, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Wow. So 139. We still have some bigger ones on here too. We still have quite a bit. Okay, so the one. I'm just gonna mark the date in case I don't come back around to this one. I kind of want to finish it though. I don't have a lot left, but they're the bigger ones. There's a few scratchers. I may finish this if I can get to the other one. It'd be great to start off the month of January. This is my very first. Um, savings challenge of 2024 in my debt binder. So it would be really cool to already have money to put towards that. And I know I just finished that one too, but aside from like paying Joe back, I'd love to have money to put towards my next actual like debt. So I'm going to, this is from Handsome Bands, Dino Dig. I'm going to scratch this way. Came across some bones. Oh, cool. There actually is something here in the corner. So we scratched 15. Mm. Okay. I was going to see about breaking it up. but So 15 going in. Now we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 76, 7, 80. So $85 so far. Okay, next is 
Trash Pandas. This is also found in my Etsy shop. The scratcher stickers are actually circular ones, but I just have those on for now um, because it was one that I was using for myself. I kind of know where the big hitters are. There's two um, like soda cans on here, and if you when you scratch them, each of them is 25. So since I know kind of have a general idea where they're located, I'm gonna roll a die. Sorry if you did not see, I rolled a five. And I'm gonna use that to determine like what I where I scratch. So one, two, three, four, five. So I will scratch this one. Okay, so I scratched an eight. Okay, so if the angle changed a bit, it was because I got a phone call, but I scratched here and it is eight dollars. So eight dollars going in and this challenge now has Twenty, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five dollars. Okay. Twenty, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five dollars. Okay. So moving along, I haven't done this one in a while. I should really do it because, well, you know, Halloween is over. <laughs> um, I'm just going to use my pen. So we'll give it, oops, heart eyes, heart nose, and heart lips uh, or mouth because coloring it in makes it look like it's open. Whatever. So five, oh gosh, should we do... Hmm. I, I just like I'm not creative at all, so well I am creative, just I don't know what pumpkin faces look like. So this one's gonna have like a wide nose. Sure, that works. So ten dollars going in. So this challenge now has twenty dollars, and this one is from GP's Odds and Ends. I believe they also have a YouTube channel. So I will try to figure that out and link it below. But always check my check my description box if you are interested in a challenge. Um, I have it linked there always on these when I do these videos. Okay. So I was really, really, really excited. I wanted to do this challenge. This, I believe, comes from Champagne's Corner. Uh, I didn't write it down, but I'm like 99.99% sure that it does. So I am going to pick out a game piece out of this little bag to determine how much I should save. Okay, so I got Mario. Super cute. And he is worth eight dollars. Oh shoot. Okay, so we just have ones now. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. I thought I did something wrong, but I'm fine because 8 and 8 is 16 plus 20, so 36. So 20, 30, 35, 36. So I'm stopping there because I really want to get to the, cha the challenge in the back knockout. So this one is from Golden Girl Budgets. 
Tracy. I'm so excited to finally be able to scratch her challenge. I've had this since uh, before my birthday in July. <laughs> okay, so $9 going in. Let's just use those. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine dollars. I'm so happy that I was able to start one of her challenges. So I'm going to move on because I was really excited to try knockout. So this is pretty much the last challenge that I have in here, aside from these little minis that when you purchase from people, they give you things. This came from Tracy, actually. I figure I could make it into like a mini savings challenge of some sort. Uh, maybe predetermining how much each piece is, maybe $10 each or something. And then the, a bonus scratcher and then from Ren. But that's like if I'm like feeling burnt out and I just want a quick win or something, like maybe I keep putting money into these savings challenges and I'm not able to complete, you know, it'll be something for a quick win. So knockout. You probably heard my stomach growl. <laughs> I'm really hungry. So I am going to roll a die and this will determine, oh my God, I probably shouldn't with what the money that I have. I'm going to determine if I'm using one or two die. So odd will be one dice one die and then an even number will be two die oh shit okay so we're using two die okay so now i'm going to roll and to determine what the knockout number is going to be since i rolled a four i'm using two die okay so the knockout number is going to be seven so it's going to be seven for this series of games and there's four rounds so basically you roll the die and you write the number down and let's say you're down here and you finally get a seven that means you get to knock out the seven and everything above it and then you start over but if you go down and you don't get a seven at all then you count up all the numbers i'm super excited okay so we have four Oh my gosh, seven. That's awesome. I suck at shut the box, so it would be interesting to see how I do on this game. Okay, so we have two. Seven. Okay, so we have eight. Nine, four, oops, nine, oh boy, seven, oh my gosh. Okay, so that means I get to knock out each one of these numbers. No way! I got a seven. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so I'm going to just decide that if I knock out every single number and it's a clean slate, I'm going to save 20. So I'm going to write this over here to remind myself 20. So I'm going to write down 20 that I'm saving. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Okay, so this challenge is from Budgets and Chaos. Oh, that was so fun. I'm going to just do one now, for now, like I said. But, yeah, because I don't think I could afford to do that again. Like, I have uh, several ones, but not as much as you think I would. I'm going to actually go back to my challenge, because I feel like this is the closest... Uh, there's some big hitters on here, though. Oh, goodness. Let's do some scratching. So 
So we have six. Plus three is nine. Plus four is 13. Okay, so we have 14. I might have an IOU, we'll see. Way. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Nine and oh wait, is that what I needed? Thirteen? I was thinking fourteen in my head. I scratched a nine a six and a three, which is nine, plus the four. Oh, oh my gosh, wait. That would be thirteen. So five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay, so $13 going in. And let's count this up and see where we are at. Oh, wait, I'm starting. Are these all ones? Yeah. Okay. So we have... 110, 15, 20, 25, 30, ooh, 31, 32, 33, 34, 40, 50, so $152. Okay, that is awesome. And we managed to walk away today without a single IOU. And this one, I would say, is going to be finished by next time. I'm, I just have that spot. Let's see, that spot and that spot. So these are two heavy hitters. So these... Uh, basically are going to be 30 plus and that alone plus the one. Wow, that's so cool. So the savings challenge, I'm going to get close to $200 out of this, which is really cool. So that is super awesome. If you are still with me, please leave me hashtag Moo. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for the, the growling and hissing. They're out of control. Anyways, bye. <laughs>